We have a list of our transactions for the past week. The transactions are numbered and listed in the order that they happened. We know that we have had repeat business. Our customers are listed by their first and last name and their account number. So we are going to go ahead and use conditional formatting to find in their account number column how many people have bought from us repeatedly in the past week. To do that, we're going to first select that column. Then I'm going to go up to my conditional formatting button here on this style section of my home tab on my ribbon and choose highlight cells rules. And at the very bottom, the last one is duplicate values. What this is going to do is apply some conditional formatting on duplicate values. Now we also can go ahead and select unique, but let's start with duplicate. We'll do that in a little bit. We can also choose the different types of formatting that we want. Let's go ahead and give it green because that's a positive and we are real happy when people come and buy stuff from us repeatedly. And when I do that, we see that we have had a number of repeat customers in the past week. And that was an easy way to go ahead and find them. Now, we also can go ahead and do this with text. We don't have to do it simply by numbers. Let's go ahead and check by the last name. Highlight cell rules, duplicate values. This time we'll give it, oh, let's try a custom format. Let's give it a little bit of a different fill. How about something in a nice blue with a, oh gosh, how about a white font? So it looks something like that. Now that's good, except that we may have repeated customers with the same last name. So it's not quite as accurate as what we have here, but you get the idea. It works with both text and numbers. Now I want to go ahead and clear all of this formatting. So I'm going to go back to my conditional formatting, choose clear rules, and clear the rules from the entire sheet. I'm going to go ahead and set it up again but this time, instead of duplicate values, I'm going to try unique values because I want to see how many unique customers we had in the past week. Quite a few of those, and those are the ones we want to try and get to come back, isn't it? All right, and that is finding duplicate values using conditional formatting. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.